Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. And I think, I think this hallway's done. That's what I think. Yes. By the way, before we get started, I need to give an update slash apology. So a lot of you, I'm sure all of you noticed the nasty audio issues at the beginning of last the last episode. And bleh. if you're watching this in the distant future and you didn't notice audio issues, that's good. That means that I have re-uploaded those versions. Um, but originally, and for those who are watching this right now, um, yeah, the audio issues are pretty bad and they've been driving me nuts this whole season as they kind of come and go and uh, it has been an absolute nightmare tracking that down but I think I think I have a handle on it I think I've figured out what it is it is actually a bug in my video editing software it has been reported to the developers long story short it's fixed fingers crossed and you hopefully should never see that ever again I really hope thank you all that uh, sent in suggestions on what I could possibly do and what it might be um, I don't think it was any of those things <laughs> it was very very complicated and if you're actually interested in all of the nitty-gritty technical details of what I did to fix the problem I would be happy to explain it to you. Uh, I might even, if a lot of you want to know, I know that I have a very technical audience, then I might even just put out a separate video. Okay, this intro is too long. Let's go. Let's go do fun things. So, welcome to half of the Cobalt Club. I, I think a lot of people liked that name. I got some other really good suggestions, but I think in general people liked the name and I think I'm going to stick with it. It's kind of it's kind of like sunk in now. Like it's I like it. And we we're going to continue on this. I, this is an enjoyable project here. So, we need to get rid of all of this nickel, uh especially if we're going to call it the Cobalt Club, right? Too bad there's no cobalt in here. We need lights in here too. Uh, and I got a great suggestion, which you can see up at the top of the screen, I hope, if I can find it, uh, that I should use the new hole, the, the, the Igor hammer thing. Anyway, <laughs> it's been one of those days. The Igor mining thing to get rid of all that nickel, and then I might actually get some cool little artifacts and whatnot, which will be fun to work with. And we'll have a nice little hollow asteroid. So that's a great idea, and I'm gonna do that. So the first thing we need to do, there it is, the Nanite Ultrasonic Hammer Ore Locator, or the New Hole. So if I remember correctly, this thing creates a cone from kind of the center, like this direction. They've upgraded the model, and I like the new one. That's nice. Igor. Ah, thank you. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, I like the new version. <laughs> that looks really neat. Okay, so... We should be able to turn on mining. I only want it... To do nickel. Nothing but nickel. That should be. Yeah, I found. Oh, yeah, it also found iron. I don't want it doing iron. I want it just to do nickel. Well, let's go check our new status screens. Uh, there we go. Possible mining targets 818. And maximum mining streams is one each because we only have one upgrade on those guys. Should we go upgrade? Nah. We'll go work on something else while this is going. That is That is really cool. I love this new model. Anyway, we'll come back and check on it every once in a while. So the next issue we're going to have, now that I think about it, is that these guys are going to start getting nickel. Yep, we've already got a whole bunch of nickel in here, and it's going to sit in there. And it's not going to do anything. It's not going to leave. So I think it's time we set these guys up to get some kind of auto-draining system. And there's a few different ways that we can go about doing that. 
So let's try a couple of things. I um, I could actually test this stuff first and then show you what works. But honestly, I kind of like the whole random, let's find out. Let's find out together. I like testing things on screen with you guys because, I don't know, I don't want you to think that I magically know everything because I definitely do not. And sometimes it's fun to, you know, just try it out. I don't know. So if I tell this to drain all, and then I come back down in and look, it is definitely draining all. That's good. So I've heard rumors that the Nanak Control Factory will pull things in past a one-way sorter when it needs them, which it shouldn't, but, you know, things happen. So let's just place a bunch of random stuff around here and see and see if he'll actually build it and grab parts. Look at that. He is grabbing parts. He should not be able to do that. He should not be able to pull backward through a sorter. But hey, I'm not going to complain. So now let me throw these extra bits in there and we'll go do this on the other side and we should be able to then, it's a really simple process of setting up a timer that maybe once every few minutes turns on and then turns off the drain all. Now I'm not really sure if I want to use the two existing timers or if I want to create new timers for this. Because I might end up using those timers for new scripts down here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna actually just go ahead and put on new timers. So we'll do them here and here. There we go, five and six. So we're gonna set up Tibor e TB Igor Drain. We'll set him up with a, let's do once a minute, I think. And we'll set up the actions. Oh, um, we're going to need some groups. All right. So set up actions. And we want the Igor drain sorters. Drain all on off. So that should trigger it to on. And then we want the other timer block. We want to start the timer and then stop drain. We want to give it about 10 seconds and we'll turn the drain off and then we'll start the trigger to wait for the drain again, which should be about a minute. So that should be every minute and 10 seconds. We'll, we'll fiddle with it later, but that should work. So if we hit start, and we'll check silent, because I don't want to listen to that. Now I'm wondering, maybe I should label the... There we go. So it's waiting to drain. And then when that one goes yellow, that means it's draining. Nice. Okay. Hopefully we'll end up with the Igors not holding quite as much. Oh yeah. Two is actually empty. And one is not yet drained. But looks like it'll get drained the next 10 second time period. Cool. Let's go see how the uh, Cobalt Club is coming along. If we need to add upgrades, we will. Ooh, lots of stuff flying around here. That's good. That doesn't appear to be doing anything. So it's probably clearing stuff behind. Actually, oop, there we go. It's zipping through there. So it's probably clearing stuff behind over there. Shall we cheat a little bit? Let's cheat a little bit. Love spectator mode. Yeah, so there we go. It's clearing this area right now. Which is completely invisible. Yeah. <laughs> we never would have seen that. I mean, eventually. Oh, actually, look, there's more down here. So it's doing these strips right now and clearing all of the nickel. Looks like it's done a fair amount underneath here as well. 
So that'll take a little while. That's okay. Let's go do some upgrades. So I think I've got two construction upgrades and the rest are speed. Uh, yeah, so I've got two construction upgrades and the rest are speed. Because it's a little more generic. So let's take off the construction ones. Oh, okay, fine. Where are you going? Okay. Hey, Igor. You want to clean up what I just... Oh, apparently I broke something. There we go. Here's the mining upgrade. I'll throw one there. And throw in there as soon as this is cleaned up. My favorite thing about this hallway is because of the um, the lack of gravity. Oop, hang on, i got to do this right. There we go. There's no gravity in this hallway, and there's these little corners, so I can just do a complete loop. <laughs> All right, so we've got a lot more nanites going along here. We're still not going to see anything for a while, but that's okay. So let's take a look at something else that I've been doing. Um, I put in a little cryopod here just for kind of when I'm waiting between takes or that kind of thing. Like right now, I'm just kind of waiting for the nickel to be removed. And I just realized that I could very easily set this cryo chamber up to actually be a basics container. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. We're gonna we're gonna actually gonna remove this basics container. Because it's kind of a little tricky to get to anyway. Control room cryo chamber. And we don't need to call it basics cargo. And we don't need 10 cabinets stored here either. So now when I hop in here, I just have to hit I, and I've got my basics. And I can just kind of reset my inventory, which sometimes I'll just literally chuck everything in my inventory into a basics container. And then I'll grab one of each bottle and everything else. Like that. And now I've reset my inventory. And while I was resetting my inventory, I also was refilling on oxygen and hydrogen and and energy and all that kind of thing. Which a lot of times needs to be topped off when I'm here anyway. So it works out well. And we can just replace this cargo container with something else. Uh, oops. Alright, I'm bored of waiting, so let's go uh, help out a little bit. Oh look, it's actually broken through a little bit. That's nice. I see this this area I at least know is going to be all nickel, so I can get rid of that. Plus, the last thing I need to do is store more nickel. I'm still going to make sure that uh, I let Igor get rid of most of the ore, just so that we get that interesting look around the sides. But the places that I know are going to be nickel, might as well help out with, you know. It's kind of fun to watch. whole bunch of nanites will show up and then like a chunk will disappear well while we wait for a little bit I know that there's some things that are gonna have to happen for example I know that there's I want to leave some of this rock and we're gonna try and use a projector to place walls kind of inside the rock so let's start setting up and getting ready to do that I think the easiest thing to do is just to set a projector down somewhere, like here. And then we'll also put down a uh, button panel. All right, we have control panels now, or button panels, or whatever. So, let's get into that projector. Actually, we'll just call this CC Projector for Cobalt Club. Or Cosmic Chimp. Huh. Okay, and I actually have a blueprint for a 4x15 floor. Ooh, that's a lot bigger than I want. I think I want something a little smaller, and we'll just do this. And that's a large grid. Which one is it? Hey. 
Oh, no, that would be a station. That's right. Static grid. There it is. Two X two. All right. So the CC projector blueprint two by two. So let's set up some buttons. I want an up and down button, and then I want like a rotate button. So we're gonna do CC, and the first one's on the bottom. So that's going to be uh, decrease vertical offset. Let's see if that works. Nope, wrong direction. Had a feeling. I want this one to be increase vertical offset. And then the next one to be decrease vertical offset. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set up all these buttons. All right, I might have gone a little bit overboard on the button panels, but that's okay. And at Control Factory 1, and we can turn on Projection Construction, which is off right now. Uh, also, I put in a light because, wow, that's all. Okay, so I have every different movement possible on here. We can move this thing left and right, and we can rotate it along this axis, I think. Is it that axis? <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. Um, anyway, I have all three axes on here. We might have to figure out which one's which, but... There we go. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to be doing is basically using this to paint. So we can move this over to one more over there. And then we can move it forward by pressing that button. And I realize we can't actually see it right now. And that's where spectator mode comes in. So we should be able to see inside. There we go. And then let's go turn on that Nanite Control Factory that only has one F in it. Uh, let's see. Projection. And we should see Igor start to paint that or build that. All right, and there we go. So that's how we're going to actually make this thing airtight while still having some of that natural rock formation. Cool, huh? All right, so we can turn off this uh, projection block and we can just kind of wait until most of this nickel is gone and we'll have a much better idea of where we want those walls. And we are getting some really interesting structures and appearances back here, which I do really like. Yeah, I think this is actually going to turn out really well. So, okay. Well, we've done some fun stuff today, and if this is a really short episode, I won't know until I've edited, but if it's a really short episode, I'm sorry. But I have been working on so many different things recently, including, hopefully, fingers crossed, completely eliminating the sound issue. Boy. And, um... I'm not sure if I mentioned this yet or not, but I am going to go and eventually go back through all of the episodes that had sound issues and do a re-upload and upload a clean version. And I'll change out my playlist to point to the new versions, but I'll have some sort of link back to the old versions in case people want to be involved in the conversations that happened back when anyway I don't know I'm still thinking about it but if you enjoyed what you've seen in this episode and if you've joined enjoyed that super clean amazing audio I hope then make sure and hit that thumbs up button hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time on epic tech <laughs>